Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of Get Ready. And today, very cool, I'm very excited to introduce you to a good friend of mine. I just had a great visit with her down in LA. And uh, you, maybe many of you already know her by name, and if you don't know her by name, you know one of her very well-known products, Mind Movies. This is my good friend, Natalie Ledwell. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Brad. <laughs> Good to see you again, my friend. <laughs> Likewise. So real quick, I'll go through your bio here to let folks know, those of you uh, who don't already know Nat. Uh, Natalie Ledwell is a best-selling author, a host of The Inspiration Show, co-host of the cable, t cable TV show, Wake Up, host of the podcast, Not Over, Just Different, and a founder of Mind Movies, the hugely successful and revolutionary online personal development company that has reached over 5.8 million people worldwide. And if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's very cool. Uh, right now, she's working on her brand new groundbreaking school curriculum entitled Personal Growth Studies, and it's really cool, which is designed to teach youth from ages 5 to 18 years foundational life lessons like gratitude, meditation, emotional intelligence, empathy, compassion, self-esteem, and setting strong personal standards, just to name a few. In October 2018, Natalie traveled to Liberia, where she met with government officials and launched the first pilot program of personal growth studies, working with 16 teachers and 500 students. Currently, her sights are set on inf infiltrating the US education system, <laughs> with New Zealand and Australia following closely behind. Awesome, very, very cool. Thank you. And we, we have to add, I have to update my bio because I, uh, I was knighted on the weekend. So my full title is Dane Natalie Ledwell. <laughs> I was going to say something about that. I couldn't remember if you said it was this upcoming weekend or, or up, so I wasn't sure if it had happened yet. Yes. Yeah. Dane. That yeah. is very, very cool. <laughs> and well-deserved. You're doing awesome stuff for a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. So Nat has also written a book called Never in Your Wildest Dreams, which is a, uh, a fiction work, but about how people become successful. So... Why don't you tell folks a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, I wrote the book back in 2013. It, it hit the bestseller mark in that year. And uh, the interesting thing about this is that uh, when I found my publisher, you know, and, like a, and I had this whole outline for the book already done. You see, my, my gift is that I can take something esoteric like the law of attraction or a success formula um, and then go, right, this is how we can systemize it. This is how we put it into a formula. This is step by step. So um, I can really break things down in a way that's really easy to duplicate, um, which is, you know, how my brain thinks. I'm definitely much, much more in, in left brain. Uh, so when I found my publisher, they went, this is great, but we want you to write fiction. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, I don't even read fiction. <laughs> I have no idea how to write fiction. They go, look, people remember a story. Just think of, you know, Way of the Peaceful Warrior, Celestine Prophecy. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so, so I go back and I'm like, oh, God, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Um, and, you know, I had an online TV show for, for about four or five years called The Inspiration Show. Uh, and one of the interviews I did was with a guy who created a, a movie called Finding Joe. And the movie is about Joseph Campbell. Now, I had never heard of Joseph Campbell before. Uh, and then in the interview, this guy's talking about, you know, the hero's journey, which is like this 12-step formula on how to write a story. Right. And I'm in the, in the middle of it, you know, he's talking and I'm thinking, ooh, maybe my book should follow that formula as well. Maybe that would give me some <laughs> clues. Um, and it was so I had these big, you know, big sheets of paper stuck up on the inside the window in my office. So I had the 12 steps of the hero's journey that I'm looking at my thing I'm like, well, that would kind of fit in there and then that would fit in there. And um, so once I kind of had, you know, each of the outline and the purpose of each of those chapters, it took me two weeks to write that book, um, which was just crazy. <laughs> it kind of just poured out of me. So, um, so the, the process of when I finally got to that point was very smooth and, and very easy. Um, and the, the thing I like about it is if, yes, there's a lot of my personal experience in there and you'll, you'll, if you know me, you'll be able to see that. Um, but it also gave me some poetic license to really, uh, describe how some of these concepts look like and how they play out in a real life situation. Yeah. 
which was great, you know. Um, and so, you know, I, I get to the end of the book, you know, I've done it, I've sent it off to the to the editors. They only come back with a couple of short, small little edits, which was just um, astounding. I was expecting <laughs> to go back and forth for ages. But I remember sitting there going, okay, this is great, but is it clear enough? Like, it, are the lessons that I want to teach you, are, are they clear enough, you know, because they're kind of hidden in this story? And I was watching TV one night and I was watching a show on HBO and it, I remember it said, like, you know, stay tuned after the episode for inside the episode. And I'm like, ooh, maybe I could do inside the chapter. <laughs> so <laughs> at the end of each chapter, the reader can click on a link or, you know, go to a URL um, and then there's a video of me that actually explains what the character's going through, like the backstory of the character at that point in the story, you know, how it relates to my, my personal experience. Um, but then I give them like an exercise or something that they can do that actually embodies what that lesson is in that particular chapter. So it's like a multimedia, you know, experience when you go through the book. Uh, so, you know, the storyline is very um, uh, relatable to a lot of people, especially if you're a middle-aged woman that is struggling or in a bit of a rut in a certain areas of your life. Um, you'll probably be able to see yourself in the character, the main character, Catherine, um, but it's also a really great um, story and how to manual and how to really apply the formula for success. Awesome. I love that whole multimedia idea of putting that or taking them on their own hero's journey or heroine journey. Mm. And then it's like, oh, okay, wait, before I go any further, just so it's clear. <laughs> 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 just so you don't miss out on this step. Yeah, and, and I think that's because of the way I think. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, I'll be listening to a story and I'll be sort of caught up in the, in the story and then I get to that and I go, oh, wait, I forgot to think about the lesson, you know. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and I'm one of these people that I can watch a, a kind of a, like a very mediocre movie and still get enjoyment out of it because, right. you know, I'm just there for the entertainment value. Right. Um, so, you know, I, I was kind of thinking of myself, you know, and, we, and when we go through like the steps of all the, you know, the formula for success, um, or the formula for manifesting. You know, we're looking at, you know, how we're setting our intention, how we're getting clear about what we want, you know, how we're being, being able to, you know, articulate that, whether that's in affirmations or in a vision board or in a mind movie, like whatever that is, being very clear about that and then having the, the daily practice of being able to visualise in our minds and already see and feel what it's like to already be there. Um, is just, you know, super powerful and then taking that action and getting rid of all those sabotaging things along the way, you know, all our limiting beliefs and, and stuff that come up for us. So it, it covers all of that, but in a very entertaining way. <laughs> well, and that's so key because people do love stories and having that entertainment and, and keeping it go along because certainly, you know, we've all read a few dry self-help books. <laughs> And it's like, sure. yeah, okay, that's a good point. Okay. And it's like, what's on Netflix <laughs> so, <laughs> to, to, to make it entertain? And that's what I love about, you know, what you guys created with Mind Movies because it takes the vision board and then puts action to it and, and all those different dynamics to really make it more of an emotional kind of thing. And keeping that, uh, you know, like I said, setting that, that intention and that vision so you have that thing you're going for because... The world certainly has plenty of things that it wants to distract us with. And oh, yeah. it's very, uh, very easy for us to say, oh, yeah, I'd like this. And then, oh, yeah. And we go off on some other tangents. So having something fun to, uh, to keep us focused on, okay, this is where I'm going is so important. Well, you know, and, and the power of a mind movie, I think there, there's a number of things that make them so powerful. The first thing is that you actually have to go through the process of articulating what you want. Right. You know, and, you know, I don't believe in, in going deep and getting very specific. Uh, I think it's important that we leave some room for the universe to come in with its, you know, its magic to, to give us something that we, that's unexpected, that's surprising. And, and that's probably way better than what we imagined for ourselves anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you <it know>? is. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, rather than saying, um, like I would say something like I have a six outrageously successful business rather than going, I have a coaching business and I'm coaching this niche and I'm, you know, doing this, you know, so I'd rather go, look, you know, I, I have this like successful coaching business. You know, I get people to describe what life looks like, you know, when they get there, you know, because when we're visualizing it, the, the thing that I learned and was the big game changer for me 
is that, you know, I know that I had to see it in my mind to first believe that I could do it. And that really helps to build that belief. But the thing is, it's kind of useless unless we, you know, add the emotion to it. You know, and through, you know, new sciences like epigenetics and what we realize now is that, you know, we, everything is made of energy and we're all resonating at different frequencies. Um, and even as human beings, we're all resonating at different frequencies. Now, what we want to do if we're going to leverage the law of attraction is that we want to be resonating at the same frequency of the things that we want. Yeah. So what is that? How do we do that? How do we get that? Well, our emotions are the frequency that we send out. Yeah. And so it's when we're doing these visualizations, we're not just you know seeing ourselves already there, but we have to feel what it's like to already be there. Now, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily feeling joy, you know, or, you know, happiness. It, it, you could be just feeling proud. You know, you could be feeling accomplished. Um, you could be feeling relieved, you know, because you've been able to, to clear all your debt. So, you know, whatever that emotion it is that you would be feeling at that moment, that's what you want to be feeling when you're doing your visualizations. So with something like a mind movie, not only do you have like the images and, and the affirmations describing what you want, the images that give your brain somewhere to start, but the music is the key yeah. because when you choose a song that completely blows your hair back like this and uh, <laughs> that really makes your heart sing, that really is meaningful to you, uh, it becomes a very powerful anchor for this memory of your future that you keep playing in your in your subconscious mind yeah. you know because we're trying to overcome a whole bunch of childhood programming um, and a whole life of validation and evidence that we've gathered to say that we're not good enough or that we're not worthy and that we're never going to do it we have to come over overcome all of that and we do that by playing this movie in our mind as often as we can and really feeling what it's like to already be there yeah. yeah. And so often when we don't attach the emotion and we just think about, well, I'd like to have this and, and that, and we're not aware of the unconscious or the, the, the subterranean emotions that are going on that are yeah. not in harmony. And cause so often it's like, I say that I want this, uh, this Maserati, but uh, part of me has all these beliefs about why that would be wrong. And so that's the emotional vibration that I'm putting out there. So you yeah. have to take that and say, okay, I'm going to create something that is going to really build that positive emotional thing. Yeah. And I think for me that, like, you know, again, like I'm a formula girl, so I'm, <laughs> I'm into the formulas, um, but I had like a six step formula for manifesting anything, you know, and, and the first step of that is that, you know, we talked about how important our frequency is. Well, first step one is making sure that you're in your happy place. You know, we have to be at this higher frequency. We have to be at these higher frequency emotions uh, before we even think about where it is that we want to go. Because if we're in debt or if we're in pain or if we're lonely, um, then that's normally all we see. We need to step out of that energetically and be in a place of gratitude for what we do have Stop focusing on what we don't, but focus on what we do. And then from there, that's where we set our intention. Yeah. You know, and we have to set a, set a really strong intention that this is happening no matter what. You know, so step one is a happy place. Step two is setting your intention. Step three is to get clear about what you want. And this is when you can create your vision board or create your mind movie and just, or even just write a list of affirmations that describe what you want. You know, and then the next step from there is your visualizations as regularly as you can. Um, you know, even driving the car, you don't have to sit there with your eyes closed in the lotus position. You can actually be driving the car and like, you know, I call those daydreams, you know, when you're in the car and you're kind of off in your mind, daydreams with intentions. They're visualizations, you know. Yeah. So once you're doing the visualizations, then you obviously have to take action, you know, towards that goal, which is step number five. Um, but then step number six, which is always the hardest, <laughs> is what I call surrender. Yeah. Because you can be doing all of those five, but if you're so closed on how it's going to happen and what it's going to look like, and, you know, then you're shutting off all of the opportunity that's coming your way. Yeah. So we have to surrender into knowing that everything's happening in divine timing. You know, we get impatient, especially if it's something that's taking a long time to create, but we have to release that. We have to be grateful and enjoying every moment of the journey. 
because every moment of the journey is exactly the way that's supposed to be. Um, you know, and, and, and release and surrender to how it's going to show up. But, sur- but sur- it's also surrendering into trust yeah. and trusting that everything that's happening is happening for our highest good. And when we can live from that place, that's when, we, where we, when we're in flow. That's when we keep that connection between us and the, and the field um, open so that we're always, you know, being able to manifest what it is that we want in a, in a pretty short period of time. Yeah, because definitely when we get into that place of it's not happening fast enough, why don't I have it now? Why isn't it quite right? Happy feeling gone. Yeah. <laughs> no, no longer in vibrational harmony with what you really want. Exactly. <laughs> you know, well, vibrational harmony with frequency. It's not happening. Yeah. Well, yeah, we get back into that low frequency and we want to avoid that. Whenever we're trying to force things, when we're getting impatient, when we're getting frustrated, when we're, you know, feeling helpless, um, you know, like I went through a moment of that last year where, you know, I was really frustrated. I wanted to, you know, working on this, this children's curriculum. I wanted to be in schools last year. I'm like, why is this taking so long? You know, and then I had to be reminded, well, if what's happening now is divine and supposed to be happening, what is it that I'm supposed to be learning? You know, what, what is it that I don't see? You know, and I realised that last year um, I still, my little self was still had a big voice in my head Um, And so even though I was consciously trying to make things happen, this voice kept telling me that um, who do I think I am, that I'm really not worthy, I'm not qualified, that I don't deserve to be doing this. Um, And so I had to really work on that. So I feel like I I had to overcome that voice and become who I needed to be to be able to step into this this next new chapter and this new responsibility. Um, And since then, it's just been a really fast flow of things happening. So, you know. We, we have to kind of just be surrendering to knowing that it's all happening the way it's supposed to. <laughs> well, and what a great opportunity that, because we have this idea of, oh, here's something I want to create and it's going to be really good for other people. And the universe says, yeah, <laughs> along the way, it's going to be really good for you too, because <laughs> you're not all that I've made you to be yet. Yeah. You don't appreciate yourself as much as you deserve to appreciate yourself yet. And so, yeah, to have that lesson thrown, it's like, oh, I thought I was here just to teach other people. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, exactly. You know, and the way that that was showing up, even though that voice was there and I was trying to ignore it, you know, when I was speaking to people about the program, I didn't, wasn't coming from a place of confidence. Yeah. You know, my little voice was saying, oh, you're not qualified. You know, well, who do you think you are? But, but you know, since then it's like, well, what I've realized is that, you know, yes, I'm not, you know, I don't have the master's degrees, but, you know, I've partnered with someone who does have them. But then I've really had to step up and go, okay, well, but what I do bring to this project is the Mind Movies team, is the Mind Movies technology, is the ability to, you know, create the digital assets, is the connections that I have. And when I've started to own that and realize that these are what my gifts are, that I actually am in my power um, and I'm in my, um, you know, in my, my gifts. Yeah. Now, when I'm speaking to people, I come from a completely different place of grounded confidence because, you know, I'm, I'm aware and owning how I show up in the project. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you have the heart and the vision. Yeah. And the rest of that, when those are strong, the other stuff can be brought in. Yeah. So and I'm, everyone and I'm watching this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have ideas, don't dismiss it thinking, oh, but I'm not the person, I don't have the degrees, I don't have this. Like, if you have the heart and the vision those other things will show up. Absolutely. Well, that was the thing. I had the heart and vision and everyone that I've needed to be able to go to this next step has been able to show up when I needed them, which was, you know, which is amazing. Which is how, this is what happens, you know, when we leverage the law of attraction. Hello. (laughs) (laughs) Go figure. (laughs) So tell us a little bit about more about the the education program because you were talking about this the other day and it's, uh, and it's really cool. Yeah, so the program is called Personal Growth Studies. Um, it's a social and emotional learning curriculum for schools. Um, it's K to 12, so it covers everybody. Um, and, you know, I, you know, there are a lot of social emotional learning programs out there. Uh, and uh, but with us, we're definitely more comprehensive. So we do include, you know, yoga, we include meditation, as well as all the social, you know, intelligence lessons that go along with that. Um, But what we also bring to the table is a very um, structured support system for the teachers. 
Excellent. You know, so, you know, we have a forum inside where teachers around the world who are teaching the program can connect with each other. Mm. You know, we're doing regular um, online, you know, support and trainings. Um, and, you know, they have, teachers will have, you know, a, access to our My Movies programs, you know, to be able to help them along in their own life as well. So it's something that just really, you know, we're, we're committed to not just changing children's lives, but to, to really help support the teachers as well, because they are definitely the unsung heroes, um, you know, of the whole education process. Yeah. yeah, and it is it is a very a very tough job. As I mentioned, my wife's a school psychologist and works with these folks all the time, and yeah, it's challenging. And and how great to to be bringing in something in a structured way, as opposed to just hey, we think the kids need more socio emotional support. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll try to fit that in. You know, uh, I'll try to, but to have a curriculum and specifics that, that that makes it easier for them and helps them along the way mm. you know well that's why you're dame natalie ledwell <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have to say that was that was one of the weirdest conversations i've ever had to have with my parents <laughs> <laughs> so i'm a dame <laughs> <laughs> Well deserved, and I. This is great. I, I appreciate you sharing uh, these steps with my audience. And any uh, any closing comments? Any bits of uh, closing bits of wisdom? No, I, I think that uh, you know when I when we started applying, or when I started applying all these concepts of law of attraction with all you know my business acumen and everything else that I had, it was. You know, it really just made a, a quantum leap in the quality of my life and the people I've been able to reach and the work that I do. Um, and, you know, once you follow the formula, then really we can do anything. Um, and so once, you know, you understand this formula and, and if you get my, your hands on my book, you know, I, I, which I highly recommend that you do, <laughs> then, not, you know, not only are we creating, you know, a better quality life for ourselves, but then, you know, we get to this place, we go, okay, we, we understand that we've been able to do that, but then how do we contribute to humanity? Like how do we contrib contribute to our community? Right. Um, and it really puts us in a place where we have the ability to be able to do that. You know, and I think now is a, is a really good time for those of us who can <laughs> to kind of step up and help us help, help humanity out. <laughs> <laughs> Please and thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and certainly being able to do that is is more rewarding than any of the other things that we can get but it's nice you know it's not an either or thing <laughs> no no it has to be both you know as you know we've been working in liberia in africa for, for two years now and you know the only reason we have the ability to do that is because we have the profit in the company like you know we need to be able to to create that life and create the profits that we can so that we can you know then use a portion of that to be able to help others so yeah it's important that we have both very important <laughs> so everyone watching your success is beneficial to others please do it yes <laughs> <laughs> Well, great, and I'll have uh, I'll have links to uh, my movies and the book and and uh, all the good stuff in the show notes. And I, it's been a delight as always chatting with you. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you again very soon. Absolutely. And thank you so much for taking some time to uh, share your wisdom with my audience. My pleasure. Thanks a lot, Brad. <laughs>